Hi, my name is Lisa Wen. I am the um, Glaucoma Fellow for the year 2018-2019. I picked the University of Wisconsin-Madison only because it's the city itself. I think it's a um, coming from Michigan. I like the fact that it's a um, it's a fun, lively city, and then there's a lot of it's a, the undergrad campus is wonderful. I think the first thing that stood out for me is the, um, the faculty that w that I interviewed with and met, and also the staff as well. Everyone was really nice and very open and um, about what to expect during my year as a fellow here, and um, um, all the resources are available as well. Um, I think you know coming from in medical school, um, exposure to ophthalmology, at least where where I went to school, so it was very limited. Um, but you know, I took an early elective um, during my third year, and I saw it's like a really good variety of um, continuity of care. You know, there's a there's a surgical component, but also a lot of patients has chronic eye diseases that you can follow, and you can really get really get to know your patients. And um, just the eye physiology can be really interesting. Um, um, at UW, I think I this year I think my goal is I just wanna. Um, see glaucoma patients but you know surgery is an important part of ophthalmology but what comes in with this too is um, the mentorship that's there as well and almost like management of like those the post-operative management that comes with all the surgeries that you do as well um, so I'm looking for I guess the ways to learn from my faculty and kind of melt that in and into a melting pot and then um, Kind of figure out like what I want to do as far as like my practice of medicine and ophthalmology um, after this year. Um, glaucoma specifically is when I was a an ophthalmology resident. Um, the faculty men mentorship I had was really wonderful. Um, they showed me that you know glaucoma is like there's like a wide variety. Like a lot of our patients, glaucoma is a chronic disease, so you do see your patients for a, a long period of time, whether or not it can be a, a pediatric patient all the way up to maybe when they're in like their 70s or 80s. Um, but my main thing that made, what made me want to do glaucoma is the um, the faculty mentorship that I had. You know their passion um, for and their interest in glaucoma kind of really kind of fueled my interest in glaucoma as well.